minutes. Madam Speaker, I yield three minutes to the gentlelady from North Carolina and the ranking member of the Education and Labor Committee, Ms. Fox. Gentlelady is recognized. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank my colleague for yielding time. Madam Speaker, I rise in support of my two amendments in this en bloc package. The alleged purpose of this bill is to protect our democracy by preventing abuses of presidential power and restore checks and balances and accountability and transparency to government, end quote. My amendments, in fact, do exactly that and would create an Office of Inspector General, IG, at the Office of Management and Budget, OMB. Pursuant to the Inspector General Act of 1978, this independent, nonpartisan IG would prevent and detect waste, fraud, and abuse at OMB. The underlying bill is a Democrat attempt to relitigate yesterday's issues. But today, Americans are being assailed from all sides. They're facing a Democrat president on a spending binge that's tearing this country apart. Inflation sits at a 30-year high. Gas prices are skyrocketing out of control. Now an even more reckless socialist and amnesty agenda is in the works. My two amendments will truly bring accountability and transparency to the executive branch and protect the statutory authorities of Congress. Last week, news broke that 40% or more of the $700 billion spent on unemployment benefits for COVID-19 relief went to fraud. That's nearly the size of the defense budget. And IG at OMB would be able to root out this kind of fraud and abuse and save taxpayer dollars. The Biden administration should welcome having an OMB inspector general with the same enthusiasm it talks about transparency and accountability. My Second Amendment will help protect the rights of the minority and allow the Oversight Committee to easily acquire documents from the executive branch so that we can uphold true oversight. I look forward to working with the majority to obtain the information required by law from the administration pursuant to these rule of seven requests. I appreciate that Democrats agree on some level that we need rigorous oversight of the executive branch. My only question is, where have you been for the last 11 months? I also Profoundly, I'm also profoundly disappointed that Democrats chose to load up this en bloc package with amendments that entrench the bureaucracy, hamstring presidential appointments, and micromanage presidential powers. This bill is supposed to restore transparency and accountability, but many of the amendments in this package move it in the opposite direction. With that, I yield back my time. 